Hi everyone, this is Miss Tang and today we're going to be learning to measure capacity in milliliters. Okay, so your success criteria is to be able to use the symbol little m and capital lowercase m and capital L to mean milliliter and to be able to measure the capacity of these containers in milliliters and being able to read the scales. Okay, so remember capacity is the amount of liquid that a container is able to hold. And you can measure the capacity of anything which can hold something else, like carton of milk, glass of orange juice or water, etc. So for example, this carton of milk has a capacity of one liter. Okay, so having a look at scales is really important because then we'll be able to measure in milliliters and liters. So the first thing you need to do is be able to find where zero is. So zero is down here. Being able to look at the numbers. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Thinking about what the numbers go up by. Some of them go up by one, some go up by two twos or fives or tens or fifties or one hundred or thousands so make sure you pay attention to how it's going up and this one is pretty straightforward because there are actually numbers there so some scales don't actually have numbers hmm. so how much water is in a bucket i would probably say five liters okay so just have a rem just remember to look at the zero, look at the numbers, look at how the numbers go up, and also notice any extra lines in between as well, okay? Because they mean half of that. So that's in between. In between one and two is one and a half. In between two and three, two and, two and a half. Think about what they represent. And then you can test it by counting up. Okay, let's have a look at this jug. So we're going in milliliters now. So I notice that there's zero and it goes up five, 10, 15. So it goes up by five. And now let's actually look at the little increments. So see if you can count how many there are. So there's one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good, so that matches up. So we know that it's going up by 1. So one of these lines means 1 milliliter. So now if we count up and we see where the line of the water is, then we can see that it's above 5. So it is 6 milliliters. Let's have a look at this next one. So this also goes up by... 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So it goes up by fives. Let's check that it's going up by um, ones in these little ones. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good. So that means we can look up here to 15. Look at where the line is. Have a think about what you think, um, how much capacity is in this um, jug and it is 16. Okay, let's have a look at this one. So we've got 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So it goes up by tens now. That's really important. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So obviously this is not 5, it is actually 10, which means that each of these lines do not represent one milliliter, which means that we have to double it to get to 10. So it will go up by twos. So two milliliters, four milliliters, um, six, eight, 10. There you go, so it's six. Okay, let's have a look at this one. So it's going up by 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. And now let's, I'm going to try going up by twos now. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Good. So it does go up by twos. Now we can go all the way up here. So 30, 32, 34, 36, 
38. Now, it is not 38 because it's not on the line. It's not 40 either. So it's in between there. So not 38, not 40. It's 39. Okay, let's have a look at this one. 0, 10, 20. It's going up by 2. So 2, 4, 6, 8. It's in between the 6 and the 8. Remember, it's above 20, it's in between 20, in between 30. So have a think about what that is. 27 milliliters. Okay, have a look at this. 0, 50, 100, 150. So it's going up by 50. And now we need to figure out what do these little increments go up by. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so each of these can't be one. They can't be twos. They have to be something else. So let's try 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So they all go up by tens. So have a think about what that is now. 70, good job. Okay, let's have a look at this one. See if you can figure it out. If it goes up by tens, it's 20. Give this one a go. Okay, let's have a look. So this, these are some activities that you are going to try to do. So you're going to have a look at these scales. So have a think about what it's going up by. So 25, 50, so it's going up by 25. Have a think about what it's going up by. So find zero and then it has to go something, 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 25 and they all have to equal each other. So let's give, let's try, you can go up by twos, you can go up by threes, you can go up by fives, you can go up by tens. Let's try fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Good, so fives work. So it goes up by fives. So see if you can figure out the rest of these jugs and how many milliliters they contain. Okay, let's have a look at this. Think about what it goes up by. 100, 200, 300. Think about what this represents and then see if you can figure out, oh, this one, figure out how many milliliters there are. Same with this, look. So it's going up by 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. See if you can figure out what this is in the middle and then see if you can figure out what this is because it's looking like it's half of this half or a quarter. So have a think and good luck with it. See if you can work this one out as well. So these numbers or in these jugs, these numbers have been worn away. So you don't even get numbers. And you are going to try to write the capacity of what the whole jug could be and how much do you think is in there. Mm. So give that one a go. Good luck.